My name is uh, Joe Hamlin. I uh, came from a small town in Michigan. Came here with my wife and two teenage children three and a half years ago. I came to know Christ when I was 25. Um, I grew up as pretty much a practical atheist. I just went along my life in interests in drinking and things like that until I was 25. My brother was gracious enough to share the gospel with me, and I was radically saved when I was 25 years old. And soon after that, I had a desire to become a pastor. But my pastor at the time at a church in Michigan named Dan Heastan counseled me that it wouldn't be wise at this time because my wife was not a Christian. He said, you could, but it'll be very hard. So I didn't pursue seminary at that time. I started praying for my wife for the next 16 years. I was married to an unbeliever. I was unequally yoked. It was extremely difficult. But through prayer, the Lord graciously, through prayer and a book called The Gospel According to Jesus, my wife was radically saved 16 years later. And after that, she asked me if I was going to go to seminary now. So I applied at TMS. There was really no other, other seminary I wanted to go to. So I, and I came here. I was accepted. I came here with a plan to work full time. I had a master's degree already. And I figured I'd come here and I'd get a job in my field. But every job I was offered was at least 40 to 50 hours. It was full time. It was a career. And so I had to make a decision. I could either work full time and go to seminary part time which is fine, or I could go to seminary full-time and work part-time. And I made the decision to go to seminary full-time, and I was hired at the TMS, uh, at the seminary to be a custodian to clean the offices and the bathrooms up there. And I thank the Lord for that job. It, was, it humbled me, and it's just been a wonderful job. I've met two of my best friends, Abra and Sam, there, and I just love the job. And, you know, I make very little money there, and I live in Southern California with a wife and two children, and I have never, we have never missed rent or been short of food. The Lord has always provided rent for us. He's always, there's been people who brought groceries to our door. And then in the midst of this, about two years into my seminary training, my car broke down, and it didn't just break down. I mean, the transmission went out, the clutch went out, the slave cylinder went out, everything. It was, it was done. So I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't have the money to get it fixed. Uh, but a, a gentleman from Grace Community Church called me and said that he wanted to help. So he took my car. He's, he, wouldn't, he just said he wants to take the car and look at it. He took it for two weeks. Then he invited me over to his house for dinner. He'd fixed everything. He paid for all the parts, fixed everything, gave me dinner, and then gave me $100. And every two weeks after that, he's given me $100 to just to use for whatever we need. It's amazing. In the midst of all this also, I was in classes. And I also remember my first week of Hebrew grammar with Dr. Murphy. <laughs> and I remember sitting next, me and Dave sat in the back row, and I remember our first quiz, we're praying, and I hear this man up front say, I, I just pray that anybody who hasn't studied will fail this quiz. And <laughs> I looked up, I'm like, what, what is this? <laughs> but that class was such a blessing. And every, uh, as Daniel said, every class in this seminary has been a blessing. It's humbled me. It's just been such a blessing. I, I'm so thankful for all the professors and how they, they show the love of Christ to each one of us. Now, my future plans... My wife and I, I've been called to a church in Michigan, uh, Maranatha Bible Church. Uh, the pastor is a TMS grad, um, Todd Dykstra. So I'll be starting there as a, an associate, his associate pastor. You know, I couldn't have done any of this without the prayer and patience of my wife, Kimberly, and my daughter, Leslie, and my son, Brian. It's just, they've, they've helped me make it through because there's many times when I just wanted to quit. I remember crying in Hebrew thinking, I can't do this. I cannot, I, what is this? I, I, ta, ti, tu, te, whatever, you know. There's no way. I just couldn't figure this out. But 
the Lord slowly started to, to show me, and it's through the prayers of my wife, my children, and my, my godly friends. So if I had any advice for students, it would be, guys, that your character matters more than your GPA. Keep the right perspective. Be humble. Study hard. Pray hard. Love your wife and children, if you have them. Love the brethren and know that God is sovereign in all of this. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to make you stand in the presence of his glory, blameless with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen.